What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's talk about this Queensberry versus Matchroom 5 versus 5. Queensberry takes the win. Clean sweep. But man, the two heavyweight bouts. We're going to jump right to those, man. Picked Philip Hergovic and Deontay Wilder to win. And I couldn't have been more wrong than I ever been. Let's talk about Philip Hergovic versus Daniel Dubois. This was the fight for Daniel Dubois' career. You could say that. Because another loss would have knocked him down another peg. But he came out. And he got on the gas and he fought the way I think he, I thought he could fight the way he, I thought he could fight a lot of fights. I just thought right now this fight would have been outside of his range, but he proved myself and all the doubters wrong. He got the stoppage, the, re, uh, excuse me, the, um, r- uh, ringside doctor stopped the fight and you know, uh, Philip Hergovic, he was cut up. He was cut up on both sides of the face. And, you know, uh, Daniel Dubois, he put it on him. He was letting those bombs go. He was catching them. But don't get me wrong, Philip Hergovic, he had some punches going for himself as well, but he gassed out too quickly. Now, me personally, that fight right there was to set up the potential fight with Anthony Joshua at Wembley. I think, you know, no matter who were to, w- were to win that fight, they're going to have to do... Um, a lot of training and be a plus plus on that night. Um, not to say that they can't, you know, compete, but you know, Anthony Joshua, he's he's riding high on his confidence. Um, but yeah, congratulations to Daniel Dubois. Great fight for him. Now, the main event: Big Bang Zhang versus Bronze Brahma Deontay Wilder. I picked Deontay Wilder to get the stoppage somewhere around the 10th round. If he can weather those early rounds between the first five rounds and Zhang slow down, and he can get that hand to land. Man, I just finished that video and I couldn't have been more wrong myself. Now, the fight, in my opinion, it went the way I thought it would go early. You know, first round was nothing really exciting you know you could make an argument for either guys in the first round and then from then on Zhang pretty much won the fight he was going down to the body um he was catching Wilder backing him up getting him in the corner letting his hands go on him but I give Wilder his credit for the things that he did do well in this fight he was able to slip a lot of punches um he was able to uh, land a few punches, not a lot, you know, uh, he, the few punches that he did land, you know, a little jab here, a right hand that wasn't, you know, a great white, right, right hand. He was gun shy and you can see it that the right hand on certain punches was there, um, but he was just gun shy. And I think, you know, at 43 wins now, four losses, one draw, I think where Wilder's at, I think it's that time for him. Uh, to hang him up. Um, much respect to him for his career. A lot of people will have a lot to say or still have a lot to say about Wilder, but you got to give the man his credit. Took up boxing at almost 20 years old, became heavyweight champion around 33 years old, won an Olympic bronze medalist, uh, bronze medal. Um, what was that? A year or two after just starting boxing. So yeah, he definitely. Uh, As they say, overachieved, but I give all respect and all props to him. You know, he he took up boxing to um, pretty much just make money to take care of his daughter uh, who was born with a condition, spinal bifida. Uh, You know, he was driving a Budweiser truck and serving uh, at IHOP, you know, and he was an athlete, younger days, football, basketball, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you know, uh, this is, this is the end of the bronze bomber in my opinion. Um, I don't know 
in in today's sports, this is the end. Of, you can say this is the end. You know, four losses like that. Um, bad losses. Last outing against Joe Parker, where he was routed. He didn't let his hands go at all. Um, in this one, he got stopped by Zhang in the fifth round. And you can see he was gun shot, but when he had some success in that fifth round early, uh, he started to let his hand go, but he was making the mistake of letting his hands go with his hands down. And you can hear his corner say, when you let that right hand go, he, 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 Zhang is a southpaw. He wants to get that right hook off. And that's initially what happened is right, Wilder let that right hand go. And Zhang just kind of backed out of the way and clipped him with the right hand. And Wilder spun around and he pointed at the ref. I don't know what he pointed at the ref for. He spun around and pointed at the ref. And Zhang was immediately on it and just boom, right hand and dropped Wilder. And down he went, head bounced off the canvas. He got up, but uh, walked to the ref. The referee waved it off. And that was it. Um, he sat down in the corner. He said he's fine. He had a little cut, but he said he's fine, which is a good, good sign. But, um, yeah, I think this is the end now. Frank Warren, I know he's high up right now with a clean sweep over Eddie Hearn. Um, but let's not knock on Eddie Hearn, man. You know, match room, they still have some good fighters. They got Jerron Boutinis, and I don't know nobody on uh, Queensberry Promotions right now that can beat Jerron Boutinis. We're just going to keep that out there. So uh, it's still looking up and up for Frank uh for both promotions but congratulations to everybody on Queensberry promotions and I'm out